Hello, welcome back. It's your boy No Speedy, bringing you another shocking news all the way from Ghana. If you're new on this channel, then you are in the right place. And please don't forget to subscribe and follow my updates. Thank you. And for those who watched my previous video, um, the chapter I'm bringing about today is concerning the Richard Gamfai murder or ritual activity or the cannibalism act or the barbaric act that he committed there in Ghana by killing these two kids and stuck their body in a refrigerator. The devils are at work. Seriously. Whatever punishment that will be given to Richard Gamfai, he deserves it. 99 days for the thief, one day for the owner. So the question I want to ask you, my dear viewer, what must have pushed this guy? Poverty? Oh, he wanted to do that for ritual benefits? Or oh, he just a mad killer? Guys, we are all crying about the coronavirus incident, but guys, there's a lot of blood the crime going on that we really need to look onto it and better it or else we are all gonna be like the ancient killers seriously now what punishment should be given to Richard Gamfai do you think he's involved in human trafficking or selling human parts or is selling to people out there doing restaurants but it is possible guys this is a very sad news you can't kill kids like that children who are still future leaders of tomorrow let me say this you are killing them for your own personal gains an 28 old man a sport journalist how come? Bro, my sisters. We have a role in a society and it's high time for us all to fix this. Not only in Ghana. In our various countries as well. May the soul of that child rest in perfect peace. And let justice be done on Richard Gamba. Because it seems like this is not the first time, but let's be thankful to God that He exposed Richard Gamfai today. Please subscribe to this channel and see you all on my next update.